Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got another top five pass plays video for you guys today. This is going to be the definitive top five pass plays. Every one of these pass plays is without a doubt the most explosive and glitchy pass plays in the game, and they all home run just about every single defense in the game. So that's why this video is going to run a little bit long, as a lot of these plays have different setups based off of what defense you're looking at. So without further ado, I'm going to get right into it. But before I do, if you guys could hit the like button, as always, like, shares, comments, all that stuff really helps out my videos. So if you want to show support, show it that way. Other than that, if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, make sure to stick around by hitting the subscribe button. And the first play I'm going to show is the Hawks Fade Smash. And I know a lot of people know the Fade Smash play probably from a couple years back. Uh, it's something that I put out probably in like Madden 18. Uh, this is not the same play as that. This is very, very different. And it all really stems from what the tight end is doing. So the first thing I'm going to do on just about every variation I show you is block the running back. He's not really doing anything. And if I block the running back, you can see how the tight end being on a corner route is really going to help in a lot of the, the plays, you know, setups that I show you. I'm pretty much every time going to put that that corner route on a on a smart route too, which is really going to help. So like I said, I'm starting off against cover two. Against cover two, you don't really have to make any adjustments. The Y route is a really good cover two uh, concept if you throw it at the right time. That one I actually threw a little bit early, but you can see the coverage is a little bit tight to that guy. So what I want to do nine times out of ten is I want to put the X route on a smoke so he doesn't come out of his break at all and that's going to make that route a little bit easier to get uh, to get the Y route above it as you can see right there it's pretty instant and it's something you can steal all game especially against cover two but against cover two I'm gonna move the ball to the sideline to show you guys there's really two explosive routes when it comes to cover two and that's going to be the B route in the Y route so blocking that once again smoking the X route that's pretty much all you really have to do um, I still find putting the A route on a on a smart route every time is going to be the best way because like I said that's really what makes this specifically different and now you got the B route which is going to be huge right up the middle uh, as well because that safety really can't choose between the two because they're both threatening in his area what makes this play special uh, though is against cover three and cover two man which I'll show you next uh, is this is a very explosive play against both of those defenses as well and a big part of it is going to be uh, I mean a lot of a lot of defenses or a lot of one play touchdowns against cover three are like plays where the where the receivers crossing the middle it has to get to the other side that takes too long I want explosive cover three plays that go right up the seam and this is going to be a play just like that now there's a couple different ways you can run it and uh, hopefully I'll have time to put a little bit of a montage at the beginning of this video of how I use it one of the ways that I use is I motion this guy across, I put him on a streak, I put the A route on a streak, and I put the B route on a streak uh, and block the running back. This is one way to do it. It's a super simple read. Uh, if you do it this way, you can also like give yourself a slant and check down or something like that uh, so you're not all or nothing on the play. But ultimately, the B route here is going to get right up the seam instantly, uh, which is really one of the, the, the ways that I, when I hit home runs against cover three, that's how I want to hit them. The second way to do this is going to be by motioning across the running back. Put the running back out because ultimately to make this play successful you have to make that safety move in the center of the field right there you can see how this moves him across makes him a single high safety now you're gonna have success again if you don't move him you can't make that throw so streaking the B route once again streaking the RB route uh, like I said the A route I typically want to streak him now we're kind of doing the same variation where everybody's on streaks and then all you have to do is put the X route on a drag so this is your look you have a check down with the X route as well uh, which is nice you don't have to create a check down with the running back or the tight end uh, and this is pretty much the look. The, the drag will get that guy out of position, and then you can see we're just going right over the top. It's a very similar concept to another play I put out of the Saints array this year. I think it was the Saints drag. Against cover two, man, this is an explosive play as well. There's not a ton of cover two uh, one-play touchdowns when it comes to man, but this is going to be one of them if you get the right defense. If your opponent matches personnel, which is like a three, they'll see a three-wide receiver set, they typically come out like a nickel or something like that, you're going to get the matchup that you want. Because this receiver over 
here, or this tight end rather, is off the line, a lot of times he's going to basically take up the cornerback on that man coverage because he's off the line. He's not really a tight end at this point. He's basically a receiver. So in that scenario, he'll keep one of the top corners on that side. And if you get that matchup where there's a cornerback on that side, you're going to have the B route here covered by um, a linebacker, which ultimately is going to be an explosive, you know, that's going to be explosive for you. So all I'm really going to do is put the A route on a smart route, block the running back one more time. And that's all I really have to do. I can put the X route on a drag or a slant, uh, give myself a check down because that's the only thing that's really not being used. This is going to be your setup right here. And then, like I said, if I get the matchup that I want, that B route is going to be gone right over the top. As you can see, I mean, we get we split the safeties because of what the other receivers are doing, and he's just going to beat that one-on-one. -on -one. So now I'm in a dime, which is, you know, once again, like I said, even if people want to try to match this, you can still have that effect. As you can see right here, the B route destroys the press. And now you can see he's still an explosive one-play touchdown. So even if you have a cornerback, which is typically going to be like the fourth cornerback, or, you know, it's not typically going to be the best cornerback because of where this guy's positioned in the slot, you can still get that look. So we're going to go, we're going to start off with the PA shot seams. And then on the defensive side, we're going to start off with a regular cover two. So all I really want to do on the left side is put the X route once again as kind of a decoy, put him on a, uh, a, on a, a flat route. And the Y route, I typically want to smart route him. If I'm at like a second and five, it's going to be an even shorter release and even better. Uh, but you have to be aware of what the first down marker is. Uh, and then you can see this Y route here can get outside of that coverage really easily. Now, I'm running out of bounds both times. Whatever side you're going for or whatever side you're attacking, try to run to the open side of the field. Obviously, I would have been gone if it wasn't for the sideline. But you can see how this play, simply by smart routing that Y route and putting that X route in the fades to pull that cornerback down, um, it just gets outside that coverage really fast. I mean, that, that safety doesn't typically have a shot. There, that was actually as close as he's gotten. You can really kick this up a notch. And I mentioned this in that original video by motioning this, this guy over uh, and putting him on a streak. And then, you know, following the same setup. I'll typically either streak the A route uh, to keep the defense honest or put him on a slant or something. But you can see how this is going to pull that safety back even more and make that outside throw even easier. Now we're getting a really easy one-play touchdown against cover two. So there's three different ways you can attack cover two with this particular play. Against man coverage, whether it's cover two or cover one, it's going to be best to run that exact same setup. Uh, with the exception of putting the, the X route here on a zig. Uh, because that's going to be a better check down. So this is pretty much going to be the look. Now that B route will pull that safety back. And you can see we're having a really explosive play. Because this route destroys man coverage. Which I went over in that particular video. I don't think I put him on a... Uh, a smart route though, which I typically want to do. You can motion over the tight end too. It really doesn't matter what receiver you motion over, um, just as long as you put them on a streak when they get there. So I'll do that one more time. Like I said, that Y route is going to beat that coverage pretty easily. I don't really have the speed that I want to beat that route, but you can see how explosive that is. But whether it's cover, if it's cover one man, it's going to be even easier. Um, the Y routes, could, there's going to be no safety over the top, but against cover two man, uh, that safety can get in the way a little bit, but you can see, I mean, he's really roasting that coverage by himself. Play the cover four quarters, cover four palms, uh, cover six on the cover four side, uh, which if you guys don't know, half of a cover six is a cover two, half of it is a cover four. All you have to do is motion this guy out, put him on a comeback route, and this is going to completely glitch that defense. So the Y route here, um, he just basically just runs right past it, a lot like he does the man coverage. Uh, and then once again, didn't quite have the speed, but you can see 50 yards, he's gone. We're going to start off with the middle high low. Um, I'm going to show you guys the setups that I used to do. Now, against cover two, there's really no setup needed. This Y route here is going to beat cover two. Um, I'm going to make some adjustments to really expand how it beats cover two because the X route here is going to be uh, pretty much useless. That's kind of like a decoy route. All I really want to do is put the X route on a smoke against just about any coverage. I don't have to make any more adjustments. I can leave this play just like it is, and the Y route is just going to get outside of that. But if you want to get outside of it to the point where you get gone, there's a lot of easy adjustments that you can make. So if I want to spread the zone coverages out more, there's a couple different things I can do. Number one, motioning this guy across here and putting him on a streak. That's one of the ways that you can uh, pull that cover two safety back while, like I said, I'm maximizing the, the stretch of the defense here. I'm pulling the cover two safety back with the A route. I'm pulling the cover two cornerback down with the X route. It's really that simple. If I do this, you can see how this play is going to get outside. And then it's really just catch and run at that point. You can see now that the safety has no chance of beating me. So moving on to cover three. This is another uh, way that, I mean, this was extremely broken against cover three. Uh, the exact same way. All you had to do against cover three in the past 
was put the X route on a on a, on a smoke. That was all you had to do. Uh, and essentially, this Y route would beat this play. And you can see it still kind of has success, but there's something that I did there that I don't typically do in the past. So now, if you put him on a smart route, he it looks like he breaks a little bit shorter, maybe like the eight yard line. That little bit of a difference really r gets him past that jam, which is pretty much the idea here. You can see it's a it's a tight route. This is not necessarily the only way you can run this. Uh, one of the more successful ways uh, would be to put the, the X route here on a drag. This is something that a lot of times that cornerback will bite down, and you can see now it's getting passed a little bit more consistently as I run out of bounds accidentally. You can also do that on the other side. You can put the, the tight end on a streak and, and put the B route on a drag, and now you're going to have the same success only to the tight end getting over the top. Although, once again, if you don't have a really fast tight end, you're not going to have as much success. You can see I'm just about a yard short. So, like I said, there's multiple things you can do here. The next play, I'm going to be doing something where I motion in this running back. You can have the same successful results uh, with this play by putting the Y route on the drag. So we're having we're doing the same trick here on both sides. We got the B route on the drag, which is going to get the A route open over the top of it. Then we got the Y route on the drag, which is going to get the B or the X route over the top over the top of it. As you can see right here, you know I don't necessarily have. I mean I probably got more speed in my running back spot. Most people probably do than they do at the tight end. And like I said, the last play, or the second play really, because this is really a two-play scheme at this point, uh, the next play is going to have this exact same motion. If I'm, if somebody's running a cover three, this is going to drive them insane because you might, they might take away one of the seam routes. You know what I mean? People are smart enough to know that cover three seams are weak. So that might use your one of them, but you can't use them both. So you're really just kind of watching which one works better. You can see it's an instant go and play uh, to both sides. Next play in this, and that's going to be the Saints drag or the Saints corner. So all I really have to do for this play to work, like I said, it's going to be the same in the other play, is motion in the X route and put them on a streak. That's pretty much it. So whether it's cover two zone or man, this Y route will have success again. Uh, the hardest part is catching and turning up field, but this is an easy one play touchdown. Uh, if you can make that that uh, that catch and run, uh, and you know you got to make a good throw, but ultimately I'm probably too close to the middle of the field. If I was running this to the open side of the field, it would be pretty easy. So here, like I said, that that one there, I can tell I'm probably going to be gone if I didn't catch that sideline animation. But so I'm going to do it one more time because I want that touchdown. So. <laughs> It's in me now. I want that. I want that touchdown. There we go. So, like I said, it's really easy. You're, you're arcing it. You know, as long as you get the proper pass away from the safety, bullet pass lead away from the safety in the right timing, you can really hit some easy touchdowns out of this play. Now, the next play, I'll just pick the Saints corner to show you the same look. But ultimately, now I'm going to be going against cover two uh, man. So same uh, same idea. Just motioning in Kamara here, putting him on a streak. Um, just to pull safety back. You can also put the uh, the A route on a streak just to pull coverage. RB route on a drag for a check down. Pretty much the exact same setups, exact same play. We're utilizing the Y route. So the Y route here, uh, once he gets outside, um, he's just a good a good cover to man beater because unlike most routes, he gets behind it pretty quick. But if you watch the uh, if you watch the the replay, and I'll probably do that after this particular play. Uh, unlike streaks and other things, uh, the the Y route immediately gets past the the man coverage as you can see it's just the way it's designed and you can see i mean it's still pretty tight coverage i don't quite have the speed that i'm used to with this but you can see how easily this is one of the things that um, this can do this year that i really didn't do well last year is it's also a super glitchy cover three beater so i'm gonna motion over the tight end this time put him on a streak and the rb route i don't know what happens on the coverage side there uh, but you can see he completely bails i'll go to the replay real quick uh, I'm going to run it a couple different times here, but watch what happens uh, with the coverage corners in this cover three. This guy here is supposed to cover back, uh, but he covers the drag. And then look, <laughs> I mean, that's not typically the look. You're not typically going to have where they're running into one another, but you're going to get that free release to the, to the Y route pretty much every time to the outside. Like I said, this is a cover three. I know I'm not showing it, but you can see we got the single high safety and you have the, uh, you know, the, the, the zones are what they are. So let's do this one more time. Maybe we can get a little bit of uh, a little bit of success. But like I said, these cover threes, the way that they're, uh, they, they they have a lot of a lot of bugs in them. Uh, these cover threes here. So here we get a good throw. Like I said, that's that's the way it should look. Nice and easy. Uh, you know, instantly broken touchdown. And like I said, they'll patch this pretty quick because this is a one play scheme. This Steeler dig play at the top here can home run just about every single defense in the game. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So cover two is probably one of the easiest ones as far as this play is concerned. 
all you really have to do, uh, like I said, you have to read the defense a little bit. It's not too hard to read a defense. Typically, when you have two high safeties, the, the DBs are five yards off the line of scrimmage. That's a cover, too. Uh, you can see the B route here is completely uncovered. So all I'm really going to do, all you really have to do is streak the X route. That's just to pull that safety on the uh, on Claypool's side out a little bit. That's all that's really about. Um, against the computer, I'm going to want to do something like a slant or you know just something to uh, to occupy the, uh, the user middle linebacker. But in a game, that's typically going to be somebody <laughs> that's going to be a, a person so you don't really have to do that but for this scenario you know just putting something in that area just so that linebacker doesn't drop back if, if there's nothing there a computer linebacker is going to drop back so it's best to just occupy that guy but nothing else is really relevant i don't really have to do anything else i find the a route is really going to come in handy when pulling the safeties apart even more so that's something i definitely won't, don't want to get rid of but against cover too this is pretty much going to be the look and this is going to be one of the easier uh home runs right up the middle there you can see that linebacker he just hesitates a little bit and chase claypool he's going to go off just like he did against the eagles he's going to have four or five touchdowns in this game against cover three the only things you really have to do in this play is put the b route on a streak and uh, block the running back that's probably like the best things i mean you don't have to really block the running back either but you obviously want the time in cover threes it takes us a little bit longer to get that guy across the field uh, the Y route. So ultimately, uh, that's going to be the best way to do it. To get him across the field a little bit quicker, if you smart route him, especially if you're at like eight yards, like this is a, they're, they're, the practice mode is based off of like first and 10. So he'll smart route and he'll angle, he'll break at about 10 yards. So if it's like, you know, second and eight or something, uh, he'll break even faster and that'll help to get across the, the defense a lot faster. So that's pretty much the only thing you can do. If it's like a third and five or something like that, you probably don't want to do that. So like I said, all you really have to do put the B around the streak block the running back and then I'm just going to wait for him to cross the field I mean that's obviously uh, probably the hardest part but you can see right there I had to throw a little bit early you can see the spacings there I have to run again because I had to throw a little bit more than I wanted to so we're going to do that one more time like I said streaking the B routes the most important part blocking the running back so you have a little bit of time uh, those are the most important things and you're going to see how you know this play right here it's a really easy one play touchdown uh, as you can see we get uh, right past that cover three defense real easy now the real challenge is cover four I know what you're thinking. How can you use this to beat cover four? Uh, cover four drop show two doesn't have a ton of, uh, I mean, I'm in a cover four out of a dollar because that's what the Chiefs have. But cover four doesn't have a ton of plays against it. I know a lot of people tell me that they struggle against cover four. So this is going to make you happy because this beats cover four as well. So we're just going to motion across the X route now. Once again, if you can read cover four, if your opponent's running cover four all game, motion him across, put him on a, uh, on a smoke. That's all you really have to do. Put him on a smoke. Then I'm going to block my running back once again. Just give myself extra time. The last part is putting the B route on an in route and then smart routing him. And that's all you have to do. Now, once again, I, I like to put the A route on a smart route sometimes, but that doesn't really matter. Same thing with the Y route. It doesn't really matter that. We're going to run it just like this. And you're going to see, once again, how this guy just splits the defense and we're getting right over the top for another touchdown. Now, that was actually tighter coverage than what I'm used to, so I'm going to run it again. It also has a very effective play against cover four quarters, cover four match, cover four palms. They have a lot of different names. Uh, but if you motion across this B route here and put them on a comeback, that's really all you have to do. And you're basically going to uh, turn these... Um, you know, basically turn these four quarters into man coverages. I like to put the A route in a comeback as well. If I know I'm targeting that Y route, it's going to be more successful uh, if I do a lot of man, if I do that uh, that look. And then you can see this guy here basically just gets over the top. So against man coverages and like man all out blitzes, I mean, obviously the running back and the tight end aren't really important. So I can do whatever I want with them. Blocking them makes the most sense. I would say slanting or dragging the B route for a good check down. I mean, these are all man beaters, the comeback route, all of them. So I basically just want to buy some time for this Y route to get uh, get across the field here. And you can see, I mean, that's going to be an easy play too. So, I mean, this is something against man zero, very obvious. Against man, same set as cover three. Streak the B route, block the running back. That's pretty much it. Um, and you're just going to wait for the Y route to cross the field once again. I mean, you're pretty much figuring this out on its own. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more plays, more videos like this, uh, maybe defensive videos next, do me a favor to like button. I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Mush it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.